So when we go get in, we shall see many things that you should learn from you know, Lamen Lodge. So in case you never know, we have in the elephant tree, you know, we have in bobo trees here with different kind of trees. Even the famous tree in the Gambia is here in Lamen Lodge. And that is the internet tree. So even you search it out on the internet, you will see it out. So check it. You know, this Lamen Lodge for our respect. A lot of boats around here. Okay, you have a fiber boat, others are wooden boats, big ones and small ones. So that's my uncle. Yeah, so he's gonna take us uh, on this trip with this boat right here. So they are preparing the uh, machine to uh, start the boat and then we can get in there. So uh, let's hear what the uncle have to tell us about this trip. Yes, uh, welcome to Lamin Lodge. And uh, here we now almost departing on our way within the connected waters of the Oyster Creek and Lamin Balong, where we have a lot of uh, activities uh, taking place, like fishing, oyster mongers, and a lot of lot of uh, attractive uh, things within the creeks. Yes. And uh, if you come into fishes, you have a large variety of fishes in the Gambia here. Okay. So mostly with the calm waters, you have uh, fishes like uh, barracuda, which is uh, sometimes seasonal. Red snapper is non-seasonal, they are always there. Uh, fish like uh, molek, tilapia, mm -hmm. and uh, the some parts and you know, and you name, different. name them, yeah, yeah. different varieties. So today these know. people will be doing uh, fishing, right? The ones that are coming from Denton Bridge? Yeah, most of them, yeah. Some okay. do go out for sightseeing. Okay. But uh, most of them are out purposely okay. for lazy day. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you know, while uh -huh. lazy day, yeah. there is additional uh, lazy day. Lazy day? Lazy, lazy. Ah, lazy day. Lazy day, <laughs> why? You know, yeah, sitting, enjoying <laughs> the scenery of the river. Huh? Yeah, understand. You understand? And yeah. uh, it's uh, some kind of a cocktail excursion. Okay, yeah, okay. Mostly okay. when you book for a lazy day, uh -huh. you might have access on fishing, uh -huh. swimming, uh -huh. and uh, lunch. As well, can be take place uh, within the within boat. the boat. Yes. Oh, so they are big boats. Yeah. People do spend the whole day. You oh. see, ma. Let's go. That's let's go in and see. So normally, what do you do? What do you do around here? Yeah. What I what I do with me? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, uh, I. You're into everything around. I, I am <laughs> Jack, Jack of fourteen trades. You know. 
as well. But professionally, <laughs> I am a river pilot. I see. Okay, I've been doing okay. fishing for 35 years. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, I did all sorts so, so, of fishing. Yeah, but I understand. You know, I also understand. I do. You, you, you do uh, make boats and things like that. Yeah, I'm a designer uh -huh. and uh, I am a builder. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I, I, I did not get my educational career from Oxford University. <laughs> You know, from the University of Open Eyes, you know. <laughs> there I graduated from, you know. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Haman. 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 Is. So, welcome to this trip. We are born in the boat. Follow us and let's see what we have to do. <laughs> Aha. So that's the machine, they turn it on, they will use the paddle for uh, about 10-15 uh, meters so that the machine will be clear of from uh, rocks. Now the machine is activated, so the boat is moving. That's what I'm about. Yeah, so you guys, you can see, I work on the fire pro, guys, down there, it's a place, it's the one who put me in this place. Now you really have to see the picture. Yeah, so you can see, you can play the city park there, so you can go inside. Very nice view, a very nice view. You can see the big boats around here. Very nice place, a very nice place. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is there and salt water. So this place is still uh, salt water, right? Okay. Look of these oysters. Uh, the stem of the mangroves. You know, these are the oysters, but they are young oysters. Okay. Yes, they are too immature to be collected now. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, and it's normally collected by uh, women. Yes. Whom they call the oyster mongers. With uh, their dog out canoes, cutlasses, and uh, you know, they collect it, take it uh, to the land, and smoke it. So, when they smoke it, they take it off the cells. So, these cells they took the oysters from are very important. Mostly, you use it for fertilizer and also paint. Oh, the oyster cells, right? Yes, because with the oyster cells, they are very useful. Yes. It's not only the oyster. Yes. What is forbidden is to cut the mangroves and use them for firewood. It oh, is forbidden. Yeah. Because they need to grow young ones again. Yeah. Oh, so, big ones they were there. Yes. A lot the of them here. The environmental agency is not allowed to cut mango, uh, firewood from the mangroves because they are part of the um, uh, life of uh, uh, the river. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what I know. That's all I know. <laughs> and that's everything. <laughs> that's all I know. Yeah. All right. yeah. So you have Haman here enjoying himself so, yeah, with the sunglasses. Take a shoot from this one. Yeah, we are having uh -huh. a good barbecue here. We don't have some food here, but when we have some. I give this, you yeah, a little about really it. Yeah. Nice. Next time we're just gonna do a big yeah. barbecue in the in the yeah. in the river. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just take the boat first. I'll oh. give you a brief of it. Okay. What they are going for. Yeah. the African pirates. Normally they use them for net fishing and uh, um, uh, for so. tourists also due to the shape of the boat it can be converted 
you can build sun deck, you have bar, restaurant, and sitting accessory either below or upstairs. So That's these people really are nice going to Lamin Lodge for a lazy day. Okay. Yes. Right. So, so. Hey, Omar! Uncle, uh, uncle! There is a bar and a restaurant. In the boat, right? And a toilet. Okay. Where one can ease himself. He also has a house. Uh -huh. And uh, if you need the sunshine, you can go up. There are canvas and uh, sitting accessories. Yes. Right. So, how far? How far are we from uh, Banjul? Right? Now we are almost connected into the Oyster Creek and the Banjul uh, Harbour. Okay. Almost. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because at the end of this mangrove is where Lamin Polom ends, and okay. we will be cruising where they call the Mid Channel. Mid Channel. That, that goes into Banjul and Denting Bridge. Ajikunda, oh. Abubo, wherever, because Gambia is all connected by water, okay. especially the riverside. Yes. Yeah. Taking a car, driving it to Pase, you can take the boat and drive it to Pase. Yes. It's only 216 nautical miles. Uh -huh. So you have the river and you have the land. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But, but but cruising by river yeah. is mam mam mam. It's more than mayonnaise. No. Yes. <laughs> chocolate. I tell you. Yes. All right. So that's Uncle Ibrahim. Yeah. So anytime you just come to Lamen Lodge, we're going to leave his number and the number of the boat captain in the description captain. of this video. Captain Chan. Captain Chan, yeah. Seaboy. So anytime you want to contact them for a trip like this, just look at the description of this video. You'll see all the details there. All right. All right. So they've been doing this business for several years, right? Like I, what Uncle said, he's been in this for almost 30 years, right? You see how, experience, how much experience he is in this river. So he can take you there anywhere. And you have Lucky Toga right here also. Right, yeah. Hold me. Join me. I am Uncle Rusty. Uncle Rusty. Are you STY? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so we're enjo enjoying the same. Yeah. Hot Sabe? I hope you enjoy yourself. I'm enjoying it. This is my food. 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 Bolong and uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hamad is ready now. 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 Yeah, the engine is going nice. So it looks like this is what you want to put That's in your boat, right? Yeah. Very good. No, why do you have a few people in videos? This uh, woman with the, uh, with the boat is a... Uh, um, doing crab netting. Crab netting? Yes. You know, you can see these boys floating are all nets for oh, crab. Okay, the white ones over there. Yes. Before they start the oil, uh, collecting the oysters, uh -huh. during the, of, you know, oyster half season. So they will not Everybody start did. yet, but what they do is they put a, a bicycle wheel uh -huh. and a net and put a, a little bit of uh, bait there. Bait, okay. Then drop it. Yeah. 
it away uh -huh. and wait for some time, lift it and collect crabs. Okay, yes. okay. So normally, same women okay. doing okay. the oysters. Yeah. Uh, the one doing this thing. Crabs as well. Yes, but they need a lot of help. Okay. They okay. need at least an auxiliary uh -huh. because normally they left home early in the morning okay. and coming home will be late in the evening. If they come with the wrong type, mostly it is a problem for them. Uh -huh. So if yeah, one is helping them, yeah. you should help them with boats and help them with engines. Okay. So that they will be faster, and right? For security, yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's manual on the lee side. So now you are, you are coming into the connected waters. Of Banjo, right? No, but this guy is very We are almost in Banjo. So we left uh, Lemon Lodge about uh, 30 minutes ago, right? Yeah, about they have an hour and now we are almost the slope, in the rivers of Banjo, okay? Hey, Captain. Pony, I got a young chip in the middle of the body, Rexy. Wow, you are like a little bit of a fish. So, this is where they do the fishing, right? That's where they, this is a good ground for fishing. Okay, yes. okay. As you see, you can see from that area, uh -huh. um, it's a deep area. Yeah. It's almost 24 meters. Yeah. Depth. Uh huh. 24 meters? 24 meters. Wow, it's deep. It's deep. Very deep. We hold that turtle. Uh -huh. It's not about this. Wow. Deep sound. Deep. Uh, you know, it's deep enough. You know, but I'm going to have to say it like that. I'm going to have to say it like that. I'm going to have to say it like that. I'm going to have to say it like that. So, in between the two Maori banks, uh -huh. you have a very deep pool. Uh -huh. It's where we normally do our anchoring uh -huh. and fish with either incoming or outgoing tide. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. About fishing, you have a light body, different body. Yes, almost. No, yang iba, yang kau yang yang kau tu. So this, no mungkin yang kau, no. That's the antenna. Kau pelan kau. Kau pelan kau antenna. So those are the fishing boats. Yeah, this is a sport fishing boat. Towards the fishing boat and see what kind of fish they are trying to catch over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kau pelan kau. Yeah, yeah. Kau pelan kau. Nah, kita pelan kau. Nah, kita fishing na. Ada lo mama. Padahal aku maju biar nyanyi nih karang ngapok mata. Wow, dah nyolong terus. Wah, ni baik. Luar negara. Nai oke, few rek. Wow. Bob dah nyolong yang which speed? Wow. So all these are fishing, right? Yeah, they are all fishing. Okay. This boat is with the Lebanese people. Okay. Who are resident in the Gambia. Okay. Normally they take their families on Sundays for fishing trips. Yarwat. Yarwat.